Hello everyone, my name is Sam Logan and I'm an MSN student at UIC. I also did my undergraduate in Urbana and Professor Mills asked me to give a demonstration on how to take notes on a PDF using a Macintosh computer. The first thing I want to show you is which operating system I'm running, which version of it, and it's 10.8.4. Now these tips and tricks will work for most Macintosh computers because we're going to be using Preview, which is an old Macintosh program. So you shouldn't have to worry about having the latest uh, software. First thing you'll need to do is download your PDF from the Blackboard site. I'm going to assume that you know how to do that. So the next thing we need to do is find our PDF. And I like to go over here to Finder and open a new window. And all of my files go to Downloads. And there's my Introduction to Pathophysiology. Now, the program that I like the best is called Preview, and that is a native program for Macintosh computers, but sometimes the defaults are set to different programs. So what we want to do is check and make sure that PDF files are set as default to open with Preview. The way we do that is you click on the file, and on your keyboard, press Command-I. You're going to get this info window. If you look down here, there's a section that says Open With. You want to make sure Preview is selected and not any of these other programs. So once you have that done, go back up and click the red X. Now we're ready to open our file, so double click it. Now up here in the left, you'll see Preview is now running and here's our introduction to pathophysiology. Annotating the PDFs is pretty easy but you have to open up a toolbar to do so. So next thing you're going to do is go up here to view and click and come down to show edit toolbar. Now that you've selected that you've got a nice toolbar full of annotation tools. The one that I like to use is this one here. It's called the text tool. It's got a big A and a little A. Go ahead and click that and you'll see that it's selected because it's blue and now your cursor is across. You can put this cursor anywhere on the document and just start typing. I like to keep it in these lines here or sometimes fill in pieces of the slide. So I'll give you an example here. You see my blinking cursor now. And now I can type in the document. If you keep typing, it'll run all the way to the edge of the paper and even off. So as you're going along, you need to hit return once in a while to come down to the, to the next line. Now if your font is too big or too small, that can be fixed too. Select the text box as I just did, and then you want to go up to tools and show fonts. Now you can change the font size here. Bigger, smaller, red, green, black, or blue, different fonts, etc. I think that looks okay. Sometimes professors leave blanks and you can fill in the blanks using this tool, which is very nice. Another tool that I like to use is the circle tool. So if you select this and you see that it's blue now, click and drag, still holding the click, and you can highlight a slide. This is useful if maybe Professor Mills says, know this slide, or forget this slide, or any other sort of coding that you want to put on it, you could just breeze through your PDFs and see the circled slides and know that that means something special to you. There's also a square and you can definitely make up different codings for each uh, shape that you like. There is also a sticky note that if 
you feel like you don't want to mark up the document, this is a little uh, less destructive. So the sticky note is right here, and you see it's blue, so I've selected it. And you can click anywhere, and it brings up a little note. And once you're done typing, you click off of it, and to access again, you click it. So I prefer the in-text um, annotation, but, but that's another option. Um, so those are really the, the basics of note-taking with the PDFs. Uh, another helpful uh, tool is if you go up to view and you do thumbnails, you can actually see all of your PDFs here, uh, all of the pages and all of your annotations. Um, so you can quickly scroll around to see, um, to find whatever you're looking for. So once you're done annotating, um, you want to, of course, save it. And so you save. And that should be saved. And then you're going to want to close it and quit your preview. And let's open it back up just to test. And there's our annotations right there. And the beauty about annotating a PDF with Preview and probably a lot of other programs is that when PDFs move from my Macintosh computer to a Microsoft co computer to an iPhone, all of the annotations stay with it. That's a really great thing because, especially with Macs, Sometimes the files don't convert to Microsoft and vice versa. But with a PDF, you can access this on any device. So I hope this helps you all out. Um, I would love to make more presentations for you um, and give you all the tips that I've learned over the years. Um, if you're interested, uh, please feel free to contact me. Um, if you have any questions, so.